The purpose of our transformation programme was to look at how we could improve the quality of our services to customers at the same time as achieving significant savings across the organisation. We'd looked ahead and modelled some of the anticipated cuts that we felt the public sector was going to face and that identified a budget gap of around 60 million over three years and we had to fill that in a number of ways. Firstly by delivering efficiency savings, secondly by cutting some of our services and thirdly by delivering a transformation programme that would help us to really focus on quality. Well, what we've achieved so far is we've implemented a major transformation programme with a number of strands. And the strands cover things like organisational redesign, looking at improving our business processes, new ways of working across the organisation, and analysing some of our third party spend, the money we spend with suppliers. And we've been working on these now for about 18 months. And so far, we've delivered £3.4 million pounds worth of cashable savings into this year's budget. And we've also achieved more savings to pump prime the transformation activity going forward. The major challenges that we had to overcome with the transformation programme were, first of all, really getting the message across about the urgency of need for change in the organisation. And then it was about really engaging people with the process of change so that they felt a part of it and they could contribute to it. And then the next challenge was around benefits realisation, making sure we really focused down on delivering the benefits that we set out to achieve. And then finally it was around programme management, making sure that we had the right resource in place to really drive forward the programme of change. If we were to start again with the process, what we would do differently would be to make sure that we um, identified the right resource, the right level of resource at the outset to deliver the programme and never under underestimate how much resource you need to deliver a programme like this. Secondly, I think we would really focus on training people in our organisation around business case development and benefits realisation. Those were two toughest parts of the programme. And then thirdly, I think we would use more of our own people to deliver the change programmes themselves. The measures that we've put in place to make sure that the change is fully embedded include setting up a very detailed programme board to lead the transformation programme which comprises the directors and members from the organisation so there's high visibility leadership. Secondly, we ran um, a big programme of roadshows across the whole organisation where we challenged people to rise to the challenge that were facing them and really engage them in the transformation progress. Um, and then finally, we've developed a big organisational development programme to really embed the change through developing new values, new behaviours, a new reward and performance management system across the whole organisation that's aligned to the transformation programme. The key piece of advice that I give to other organisations embarking on a major organisational redesign would be, first of all, to make sure that you engage all your people in the programme of change and that you use your own people to deliver the change. And secondly, to really focus down very clearly on benefits delivery so that you're very focused on achieving the benefits that you set out to achieve.